Cancer and welcome to your reading to me and to me Tarot Al. My name is Joy. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're subscribed, welcome back and if you're new, I welcome you as well. So let's go on with your reading here. Be using two decks for your reading. Let's shuffle this one up as well and get right into it for you. I do have my window open so you may be hearing some neighbors outside. I do apologize, but it's a pretty decent day here for being uh, this late in the October. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's begin. Your first card you have here is the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is coming through, and this is going to be representing your reading. This may be something that you're concerned about or that you're going through that you um, would like a little more insight on it and see what the cards have to say of what this card is representing. This card is representing that you're thinking of traveling or you're, you're, you kind of, you kind of feeling like you're in a stale, like you're in a stale place right now and that you want to move on. You need, you, you need to, uh, well, not just to move on, but you need to, you're feeling, you may be feeling that, that you need to get a fresh start. You need to get out there some more. And you, these cups here that are here, as you see, they're all full of, uh, they're full of emotions. They are full of uh, things, love, emotions materialistic things maybe even you have uh, you know, there's eight cups here and you're and, and you're leaving them behind you have the moon here going through its phases as well here telling you that it was a full moon it went through its phases and a new moon is going to be shining on you you're going to be following a new path you may be wanting to start a new path or it is time for you to go ahead and uh, you know, release some of that stale energy. Release some of that stale energy and, and take a well, take a venture out. You know, step out of the box. Step out of uh, I hate that phrase, but you know, step out of the box a little bit. Step out of your comfort zone and, and go for it. Go for uh, and go for what you are dreaming of. So let's see what these cards are saying here. Alright, so here in the recent past, there was a spiritual union, okay? You had a spiritual union. You, know, you, had, a connect, you had a connection. You, had, you were talking to someone maybe about how you want to further your life, how you want to go down, how you want to change your path and go a new direction. You were having a lot of spiritual insights, a lot of, you had a lot of communication going on with, with a significant other or a, a friend or someone or just maybe this is just you you know your, your inner self and and yourself as as a whole your soul and your your soul and your ego your soul and your mind you know you you were having a you were getting these you were getting this spiritual sense that that yeah it, it's time let's let's do this let's go ahead let's go forward you can tell there's a butterfly here as well. The, the light on this card, if you can, it's like in the shape of a butterfly. See how it goes around like this and around. and It's like it's a transition. It's also a number two, which is for, for balance. So you want to keep your balance. You want to keep your balance on this journey that you're going on. Um, you know, there's gonna there's a lot of transitions going on. You know, to leave something in the past and move forward and to take a journey. Uh, that takes a lot of that takes a lot of uh, leaving behind and moving forward. Um, yeah. Material and spiritual prosperity. This is what's coming to you right now at this moment. This is what's in the present. Okay, so. You took that transition, you kept the balance within yourself. You listened to your intuition or you listened to the, the heartfelt feelings of someone else or this person is also 
could be a partner with you as well. You know, you maybe uh, maybe you're, this is a relationship and a love. Maybe you're having a love relationship and you've come to one as a unit. You've come together as a union, as a one. And you know, you're like, oh, look, you know, and you want to. You want to move on. You want to move on f further in your future with this said person here. It's time for you to take that journey and, and to go. Because the materialistic and the spiritual senses that you have are, are with you. You have to trust in it because it's, it's a transition. It's a transformation. Bringing two, bringing two souls together to live your life and to move forward. Go down that new path, that new door, that new opening has happened. And it can be a little bit frightening as to leave some of your old emotions, some of your old things behind. Uh, perhaps, like I was saying, if you're, if you're even getting married here, if you're getting married, you're getting engaged, you're starting a new relationship. You know, sometimes leaving, leaving little parts of you behind of, of your younger years can be a little difficult. It's a little bit of a transition coming through how when you get as we grow, we mature every day a little more every time. And just know that within you, it's in your heart. You know, you still have all those feelings. You still have all those memories in you. But here to now today, it's a material and spiritual prosperity here. You can see again here, these waterfalls shooting up, not waterfalls, but water fountain. The fountains are splishing up water here. They're splishing up water. You're standing in the center of them. That's emotions. Those are your emotions. You have the evergreen trees, which are for everlasting, everlasting hope, everlasting peace on this card as well. You're standing right between them. This is a new journey for you. This is the new path. It's a number six. When we put these two together, it makes a number eight. So it's very powerful, very powerful union. Very, very powerful uh, relationship you have here. Gives you a lot of power, a lot of strength. You have a lot of strength. Material and spiritual. That's what this was saying with all these cups here. Your emotions, materialistic things. You need to leave some of them behind. And go ahead and, and walk through these mountains on this card. Walk through these mountains on this card here. It's a new phase. It's a new... Here's the moon, like I was saying. A new phase. A new phase. A new time in your life has be, is going to be coming to you and starting to begin. And in your future, you're going to have memories of love. Memories of love. You're going to be making beautiful memories. You're going to be making beautiful memories on this relationship that, you, that you're in. So go ahead. Go ahead. If maybe, you, maybe you're even going to go, I'll just say, to Vegas and get married, okay? Maybe you're just going to elope. Don't be frightened. Don't worry. Take that, take that new path. Take that new path. If it feels right. If it feels right and perfect to you. This is what the cards are suggesting. You don't need to take the advice from these cards. We all have our own willpower. And, um, you know, we all can change our minds, right? You know, the cards aren't here to tell you what to do. They're here to give you a suggestion and to show you what's possibly. Um, but, again, you're going to have... You had a spiritual union in your past. Right now you're having all that material and spiritual spirituality and, and prosper prosperity within you for this journey with this new moon and this new phase. You're gonna be making beautiful memories. You'll be making beautiful memories. Alright. Well I thank you and you have a great day.